Hello, art friends. My name is Fleshwad, and today I have three stories about catfish for you. Just remember, the internet is not always your best friend. Please be safe out there. He just had to see me. Posted by u slash crh427. So this happened when I was about 14 or 15. It involves an in-person catfish meeting, so forgive me if it's misplaced. Like most kids back then, I was a pretty active MySpace user. Being a gay teen in 2006 meant there were a few options to connect with other gay kids your own age. So I would frequently, and sometimes recklessly, turn to online platforms, MySpace in particular, to meet others. One guy I met on there seemed legit enough. Lots of photos of what was definitely a teenage boy. I talked to him on the phone a lot for a month or so. He sounded like a kid, so I wasn't suspicious. I decided to invite him over to my house, don't try this at home kids, and my mom, bless her, insisted on coming out to the end of my very long driveway on my rural empty road to greet him with me. I thought it was overkill, but okay, I said. Soon after we walk out, a beat to hell white sports car from the 80s cruises up alongside my driveway. The driver was around 60 years old, plump, with a longish, scraggly hair dyed jet black, with white gray roots coming in, and about two weeks of unkempt growth on his face. I just stared at the guy and felt like I was drifting outside of myself from the shock. My mom starts going off on the guy, asking him what the hell he was thinking, screaming, He's 15! He rebuts a few times before saying, I just… I just had to see him in a bizarrely young sounding voice and tore off. Going back down the driveway felt like a two mile walk. Me saying nothing. I didn't know what to say. We called the police and gave them his number, but they said they couldn't do anything. For years after, we would often get a car driving by, blaring its horn in front of the house at 2 to 3 a.m. almost every night, and I've always wondered if it was him. First time getting catfished yesterday, posted by u slash amore powers. It was extremely the most traumatizing experience I've had. I was in this group on Facebook where people shared different kinds of stories, mostly funny stories. I usually post comments there using my dummy account, and most of the people there use dummy accounts as well. I had a fun conversation with this guy using a dummy account named Luffy, who claimed to be 21 years old. We exchanged messages on Facebook, without actually adding each other. We both found out that we lived nearby each other, so we decided to meet up and have lunch in a mall near our school. I chose a place to meet where it's really crowded. Since I had a dress rehearsal for a play, he told me he would wait for me in a burger stand near our school. The night before, we sent each other pictures. I was excited to meet him since he looked pretty fun to hang out with. By 4pm, I stood beside the burger stand. A heavily tinted red car stopped at the street in front of me. Then I received a text message from him asking me to go inside the red car. Since I've read a lot of stories here on Let's Not Meet, I decided to go with my instinct and sent him a text saying that I wouldn't get in the car unless he goes out and shows himself. What happened next made me promise myself that I would never meet anyone from the internet ever again. A man, most likely in his 30s, went out of the car and started to clutch me by the arm, and kept tugging me. I screamed like I have never screamed before, making it noticeable since there are civilians there as well. The guy who watched over the burger stand came to us and asked what's wrong, clearly concerned. She's my daughter. She is in big trouble. She ran away from home, where this creeps defense. I denied it every time and the burger guy told him that he would alert the guards from our school. That's when Luffy let go of my arm, went inside his car muttering to himself and drove away. When the guards came, I told them everything, and I was never let out of the school that day without my guardian picking me up. So Luffy, whoever or whatever the hell you are, let's not meet again.
I was catfished by my former best friend. Posted by you slash Bailey. I would like to start out by saying that I'm a girl and my best friend at the time was also a girl. And was married to a man that was older than us. When me and my former best friend, who we will call Leah, were seniors in high school, we had become very close. We would always be spending our afternoons together until her husband would get off of work. At the time, me and my boyfriend of the time had broken up. I was pretty upset about it and she tried everything to cheer me up. About a month had gone by and I was feeling much better. Leah had been texting me saying she wanted us to go to dinner, so I started getting ready. I was so excited to spend a few hours with my best friend. When we got to the restaurant and had ordered our food, I got a text from someone who said he was Leah's friend, and he'd like to get to know me. Apparently, Leah had given this man my number, and had him text me when I was with her, so she could tell me all about him. He seems like a really great guy. He was three years older than me, was in the army, and had a three-year-old son. That's when things started getting kind of strange. A few weeks had gone by and he would never send me pictures of himself, but would be fine accepting pictures of me. He would promise to call me when he got off of work, but never would. When I would try to call him, it would go straight to voicemail. Strange, I thought. One day at school, me and Leah had made plans for us, her husband and this guy, who I'll call Kobe, to go out and eat. Of course, I was excited to meet him in person. We planned to meet at 7.30 so we would have enough time to get ready and get our homework done. 7.30 came and went. Nobody was texting me back. At 9.45, I decided to get ready for bed since I'd waited the whole night for them and they clearly weren't going to respond. That's when I got a text from Colby's phone. It was Leah saying that Colby had been in a terrible car accident and was in a hospital two hours away from where we lived. I was so upset. I called every hospital in that area and none of them had a patient with that name. I kept texting Colby's phone, begging for someone to tell me what was going on. I needed answers. Closure even. Why wouldn't anyone tell me how he was doing? Why wouldn't they pick up the phone when I called or texted? The next morning, I got a text from Colby's phone. The text said something along the lines of, Why the hell are you blowing up my phone? You know I'm a married man. What in the world? Colby wasn't married. Him and his son's mother had split up. At least, that's what he told me. Was he lying to me and his wife the whole time? Did she find out? I asked him what he was talking about because he told me he was single. Turns out, Leah had made Colby up. She was using her husband's phone to text me. That's why the phone would always seem to be off at night. Her husband told me that Leah told him a different story, that I was obsessed with her and that she needed his phone since I didn't know that number. How could my best friend do this to me? What had I ever done to her? She and her other friends then started threatening to beat me up because I wanted answers as to why she'd do this. I went to the Dean of Students the next morning and showed all of the threatening messages I'd received and explained the situation. He suspended the girls for bullying me and they left me alone after that. Since then, I've learned to always video chat with someone I meet online so I don't get hurt again. I'm sharing my story because I don't want anyone else to go through what I did. I have a hard time trusting people, but can you blame me? So former best friend, let's not meet again. I hope you guys enjoyed these stories. And I hope they give you a little insight on what to do if you're ever in a similar situation. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until the next video, bye.